It was 2005. New lines and smaller equipment for goalies. Now legalized what became known as the stretch pass. And no more tie games. Shootouts were added. Every game would have a winner. The league went between his legs, and the Rangers win it in a shootout. Also new that year, a Washington winger named Alexander, who scored more goals than anyone, some in fantastic ways. And a Pittsburgh center named Sid, who registered more points than anyone, some at dramatic times. Here's Crosby on a breakaway. The game on his stick. And there was another new element that season, us. And we arrived with some ideas. Rather than a traditional intermission studio, right outside our offices, we had our own historic rink. By the way, it's a beautiful day for hockey, yeah, isn't it? Perfect, perfect. The NHL right. and NBC yeah, is going rink. to continue after this. <laughs> and at the arenas, in addition to the usual booth, we made one request. You were in the mine as long as the meet. Just a small bit of shoulder-width real estate between the benches we'd call inside the glass. Peter Sikora just tapped the glass and said, I'm gonna score. From there, we'd be able to provide information never shared firsthand before. Said he would get the winner, and he did! Oh, there were hazards down there. My goodness, Pierre. And occasionally angry people nearby. Robbie Let's curious at Miles Club. Others began sharing our space. Pierre, you've got some company now on that. And inside the glass became the league standard. It's a brand new thing. In the years that followed, we were thrilled to show many dazzling new players who could bring a crowd to its feet. Who else but Patrick Kane? Or those who could quiet one with unforgettable goal mouth brilliance. It's set across! Oh, and it didn't go! It was tough! Players' impressive skill was matched by their hearts. A little girl in a St. Louis hospital named Layla Anderson, battling a potentially fatal illness, befriended by Blues defenseman Colton Pareko and his teammates. That was a season that saw her get a life-giving bone marrow transplant. What? and her mutually inspired friends winning the Stanley Cup and seeing to it that they would all celebrate together. This is unreal. Yes. Unreal. You're the best. You are the best. And the childhood wonder of playing outdoors. We were thrilled to be in Buffalo on New Year's Day in 2008 for the inaugural Winter Classic, Sabres and Penguins. There was lots of snow, some stops for repair, but a shootout and a memorable finish. The game on his stick right here. Score! Penguins win! There were 105,000, still the record at a stadium in Ann Arbor normally used for college football. Zetterberg gliding out to the 50, to the 40, to the 30. That game also went to a shootout. Trying to win it. He scores! Before the Maple Leafs defeated the Red Wings. And along the way, as many glorious venues as you can name. Wrigley, Fenway, Soldier Field, Notre Dame Stadium, Service Academies, Yankee Stadium. Oh, and even warm weather places like the home of the Dodgers. Tonight, we will present a game of hockey, the game that will set us on our ears. When he was a child, little Mark andre Fleury dreamed of making a save to win his team the Stanley Cup. Long after, he was 24 years old, and in a final series game seven for Pittsburgh at Detroit, and he got his dream chance. Off the tie-up, it comes back to the point. Rapolsky, the shot, knocked down in front, scramble there, Zetterberg, a shot, another shot, fought off by Flurry. The horn sounds, and the Penguins have won the Stanley Cup. There have been several other cup-clinching moments we were thrilled to see with you. Handing on to Kane again.
and in San Jose in 2016. The Penguins had the Stanley Cup, and the first handoff was to injured defenseman Trevor Daly, whose mother, seriously ill with cancer, watched on TV as her son lived out their dream. Or two years later in Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so many others. There's the cup. The Stanley Cup? Ever seen the Stanley Cup before? No. It's close. Affected away from the ice by this beautiful historic trophy. Oh my God. That is not only a magnet for touching. I'm touching the Stanley Cup. But that produces lifetime memories. This is just overwhelming.